Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Range Rover Vogue autobiography. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a Range Rover 3 litre TD V6 autobiography. It's four wheel drive, Euro 5, 2014 on a 64 plate. Has a massive spec. Has done 54,075 miles. Fuel economy, urban, 33.2 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 40.4 miles per gallon. Combined is 37.7 miles per gallon. Has a 0 to 60 time of 7.4 seconds. A top speed of 130 miles per hour out of a six cylinder, 254 brake horsepower, 24 valve engine. You will have to bear with me. This car, I think it was uh, a Range Rover manager's car and it's got just about every extra. It's, the, it's the, probably the best equipped car, best equipped Range Rover we've ever had in. And we've had some really lovely cars in. But this is finished in Yulong white. There's a Fuji white, which is just plain white. And then there's Yulong. I'm, I tried to get close into the paint so you can see it's kind of a pearlescent white. It's absolutely beautiful color. The Santorini black roof, the body colored uh, blades on the side here and the chrome or aluminium flash up the side. It, it's, it's fantastic. It's got the full glass electric tilt and slide panoramic sunroof, rear privacy glass. Um, again, you've got keyless entry, keyless exit, keyless go. So you get out of the car, you touch the handle there, everything locks. You come back to the car, you put your hand behind that door handle. Car opens, but as we all know in the news these days, um, thieves have signal snatchers, so if you don't put these, your keys in a Faraday bag, they can actually come up to your house with a big aerial. This key's transmitting all the time so that it knows when you're approaching, it knows to allow the, the locks to open. So all they do, they have a signal snatcher, a big transmitter, an aerial or receiver, and then there's somebody next to your car with something else, and they just open your car and drive off, that's it. In order to get round this, what I always do with my Range Rovers these days, especially, I mean, I, I have a tracker on anyway, uh, that looks like it locks automatically. But if you, if we open it, that's here, that's the headlight button. So you've got the unlock button there. So I'll just unlock it. If you open it, you've got three seconds to click the headlight button three times and then click unlock. Watch what happens when you do. So it's, we'll just do that again. So that's, so it's locked. We open the car door, click the headlight button three times, one, two, three, and then click unlock. And then when we shut it, the keyless entry, keyless lock doesn't operate. And you've got to shut it from the key. So the guy stood outside your house with a signal snatcher and his mate next to your car, waiting to nick it. They, they can't get in it without making a noise do that it's it's no great hardship get your key out of your pocket look that's this is all you do key out of your pocket open it, and the doors open it's it's an incredible invention you, you know keyless keyless entry is all right having your car on your drive when you get out of bed in the morning that's a lot better so there you go that's it again at end of rant and you can soon put it back do the same thing open the door click the headlight button three times and then click lock and it'll work again we'll, we'll, we'll do it so open the door headlight button three times lock shut the door and it's working again but it won't be in a short while so we've got the multi-spoke alloys here what size are they they look like whoppers and knowing the the type of guy who's had this 21 inches and they've got Michelin Pilots on are they? Michelin Pilot Sports great great tyres premium tyres high pressure headlamp wash the silver grille silver Range Rover badges you've got front parking sensors this this vehicle has also got um, 360 all-round cameras and then it will also park itself it's a big car you sat in the driver's seat and you have a look next Range Rover you see if there's not a, a diminutive lady driving it, 
uh, I'd be surprised because they're so easy to drive. You can see the front, you can see the back. It's just no problem. It, it's a fantastic car. With the parking aid, it will parallel park and it will perpendicular park. It'll also get you out of a tight spot without doing anything. You touch a button, you just cover the brake, the car does the rest. Frightens me to death when I'm using it or when I'm, I, well, I never use it, but <laughs> when I'm demonstrating how to use it, it frightens me to death. And you can see the look on my face. I'd far rather do it myself. But if you can't park, then fair enough. <laughs> There's nothing better than that. Okay, so I'll just show you the fully assisted parking on here. Uh, so over here, parking, you see, it shows you into a spot. So we'll click that. On the dash, it comes parallel parking. So that's when you go to the curb or all the cars are facing that way, the curb's on your side, and you come into the, to a parallel position. If I click it again, that's perpendicular parking. So that reverses you in with your tailgate to the back of the parking space. That's what I'm going to try. It's just showing there, perpendicular parking, searching. So I put it in drive. I move forward very slowly. There's some very small parking spaces and uh, we'll just see whether it picks anything up. This, I think this one should be big enough for the Range Rover to get in. Right, so there's an arrow drive forward tell me to drive forward so i'm going forward now it says stop release wheel select reverse into reverse and then we go back with an audience but i'm just covering the brake there we go it's showing here it's saying there stop select d wait as you can see, it's moving. To the amazement of all around me. So I'm going back here, he's moved. And then it's just going to straighten me up here. There we go. Perfectly back. Absolutely spot on. So it has remote opening tailgate as well if you just come back to the car and you want to open the top you just put your shopping away you just click underneath there there's the reversing camera too you've got hard rear load cover and you just lift that up or, or push that up made that look hard work didn't i <laughs> and shove your, your shopping in there so that comes back like so if you want to open this you click that button there and it comes down however if you come back if you want to close them both you can either click that or when you come to the car you just click open like so and that opens both of them so you don't have to mess about with both and you can close them both with the button now then in the back of this car and i'm just going to sit to the side here in the back of this car as i say great specification if you click that the button there and then like so just watch there, make sure you keep your legs out of the way, especially your shins, because the last bit would hurt. Yep, there you go. Also, you can put the back seats down from here, so if you're loading anything long, you don't have to go around the front, lift the seat squab up, put the seats down, and so on sometimes I have my seat so far back that I've got to put my seat forward as well then put the seat squab up and then put the seats down with this you've got two switches here and if I press them like so I'll cut the video in of the front seats move forward the back seats have gone down to a certain point until the front seats move forward and then they go all the way down that's just press it, pressing the buttons here To put them back up just the same so you, you can now just from the back coming to the back you can load right through the car without all that messing about putting the squab down a seat squab down and, and, or moving the front seats forward putting the seat squab down then putting the, the backrest down 
you can do it all from the buttons here so just put them back up again it's probably quicker doing it by hand but you can you can amaze all your friends There you go, the seats are back up again. It's, uh, it's brilliant. We'll just put that away. I'll stay here, it's a lovely day. As I say, this, the pearlescent paint on this, it's just, just absolutely beautiful. That's it, that's it done. So here we go, I've got the key. So, Tow bar's stowed. Reversing sensors there, the integrated rear tailgate spoiler. Well, we've also got soft closed doors, which I'll try and remember to show you, but if you open that like so and just shut it to, that's it. Closes itself, you get home at night, sneak in without the waking the wife up or the neighbours. Brilliant. So, absolutely fantastic in here. These headrests uh, could be my imagination but feel softer. <laughs> they feel like pillows. You've got kind of this Alcantara, I think it's called Aston, or Alston um, headlining. But it's, it's suede, it's Al Alcantara. You've got vents up here. There's vents down at the side. You can move this seat forward if you're a passenger there. You can just move the seat forward. You've also got heated seats at, at the sides there. Rear entertainment. You've got these Meridian speakers in, in the, the back of the seats. The sound in this is awesome. Ahem. Also, you pull this down two cup holders, click that up, and in here you've got a remote control. And you can control both the screens from the back, switch them on and off, change the sources, just phenomenal really. Um, I, I, this, this is a keeper, this really is a keeper. Uh, for, for the price this is, the, the value of it, um, I mean, you just you just couldn't ask how much it, this is worth because nobody would ever see it. They'd go in a search on Auto Trader. Auto Trader would would put that it's the, the it's a high price, which it, it wouldn't be. It's a high price because they don't know what they're doing. Their algorithm doesn't know what it's doing. It, it just takes an average of a load of vehicles. It doesn't tell you the truth. This lovely, lovely leather. Contrast stitching, airbags everywhere. Also in the back here, you you can actually you can go look at that. You can you can recline the seat. It's just you know I mean it, it it's just it's just a beautiful car. But the music, let me just demonstrate <laughs> the music. So here we go. It's on Bluetooth. Absolutely awesome. Subwoofer, speakers all around, Meridian speakers. It, it's just, it's just phenomenal. Um, let me just see if I can. So here we go. Click these on. So rear seat entertainment. I've not brought a DVD, which is, which is bad, but um, you'll have to forgive me. So there you go, there's the rear seat entertainment. That's the remote control. And what can you do? Audio, video. There you go. So that looks like that's channel four, showing you channel four. Um, change. Channel four. Are we, oh, Dave, let's see. 
with a bit of luck top gear might be on oh no railroad australia well there you go so you sat in the back here in your reclining seat <laughs> with these massive speakers i mean i could live in this it's fantastic Ah oh well, off, remote back in here, tucked away, you've, you've got Isofix rear child seat tanker points too, autobiography embossed in the middle, headrest, just a lovely car, as I say, you move that seat forward if you're a passenger, and uh, come off lovely people again as well which is always nice. Let's go for a ride. But before we do, I um, had a comment on one of the videos the other day and it said something like, what's with the throwing the keys up in the air? What a twat. Just for you. <laughs> like I care. Okay, so. That's one of the keys. I've got the other key somewhere. What have I done with it? Because the other key is quite important. There you go, that's got the time climate, so you can switch that on remote or you can use the dashboard. Anyway, we'll just put that there. Um, I'll tell you the service history before I forget. There's so many things on this vehicle to try and remember. And uh, here we go. First of the second, 2017 at 11,085 miles. Copart Special Vehicles Operations. Some of you, as soon as you hear that, you'll know what we were thinking. And we uh, we made sure that it was just service there <laughs> and not anything else. 10th of the 7th, 2018, at 18,531 miles, into Cape Land Rover Chester. 25th of the 6th, 2021, at 31,838 miles, into Cape Land Rover Chester. 11th of the 7th, 2022, at 42,178 miles, Inch Cape, Land Rover, Chester. So we'll do it again before it goes out. Good service history there. It's got heated front screen, heated steering wheel, and it's a warm day today, but the best thing, there we go. The best thing is, I don't know what they want, but there you go. Just wait till they go past. Uh, the funny thing is, there's a couple of blokes smoking weed over there. And I don't know what they're uh, what they're doing. I don't know who they're taking photographs of either. But uh, the weed smokers are off. So anyway, weird. That little bit of excitement. We've got. Um, <laughs> my favourite thing in all cars so we switch on the seats there and then we go to massage there you go programme and it's, it's on full look at that you can turn it down turn it up turn it up programme that's up and down that's just down that's up that's just the top bit but we want it on the full Monty. There you go. So I'm being massaged now. And uh, oh god, it's heaven. Let's get going before the uh, parking Gestapo here do anything and take my number when I'm just trying to mind my own business. <laughs> oh, here we go. So we've got three position electric memory seats. Gosh, what else have we got? So that's that's set there. It's got the Meridian surround sound system. This speakers in the back of this seat. The sound is awesome, which uh, I played before. I think you will probably have seen that clip now, and it's probably blown your speakers out. You've got the timed climate, that's it. So you can you can switch it on to 
warm the car up before you come out in the morning and before you come out of work at night you've got the parallel parking perpendicular parking and also it will get you out of a tight space as well just by pressing the button and then all you have to do is just cover the brake cameras let's just go let's see cameras there there you go the side cameras curb view trailer view just you can see all around so it's 360 cameras you've of course got your reversing camera too and you see here this the capital center have put these speed bumps in i think it's a five mile limit you can't go over this there you go even in a range rover at, at any more than one mile an hour Oof. even in a range rover that's how thick these people are anyway let's not worry about that you've got bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming, the beautiful three litre engine, got cruise control, got access height, you've got TV, dual screen, the person on the passenger seat, uh, passenger side and the rear entertainment. So you're driving and your passenger and the two people in the back can all see the TV or you can see as a sat nav or a blank screen so you, you can't be distracted it, it's a great idea electric tilt and slide steering wheel power folding door mirrors just click that over best invention apart from massage seats which is still doing a number on my back there is blind spot indicator there another which I forget because I've got polarised glasses on and I can't see it quite as well. Um, it's this vehicle, I think it's the first Range Rover we've had with heads up display. So that's telling me the speed limit of the road, which is 50 along here, and it's telling me how fast I'm going 38. Um, no need to take your eyes off the road in front, and uh, just, just absolutely brilliant. Black seats with contrast stitching. The, Big front centre armrest with the inside there, the fridge. You've also got two USBs, auxiliary in, power socket. I think the chap has got just about every conceivable extra you can get on here. Which, as I say, makes it absolutely phenomenal value. Because you can't charge, you know, all these extras just adds a very very small percentage certainly on auto trader you know you get like a thousand pound accessory and they add 15 quid to the price it's fair enough um you you don't get the full value back it does make it easier to sell though here there we go tilt and slide electric sunroof that'll go all the way back It's just flipped up there, the fly screen. Close it. Is that closed completely? Yes. Then we can have the blind forward. Magic dye for my hair. It goes from almost. Oh, not shut that properly, so I'll put that forward all the way. As you see. Forgot about my roof camera. The older I get, the better I was. This, this is just absolutely, it's like a magic carpet. You just float, it's 
it's just beautiful. You, you just, it's quiet. Irons out the bumps. Just make sure he's going that way. And we'll do what Range Rovers should do and just be allowed to get to the front in style and grace. We've got two Vogues in at the moment, as I say, this is the autobiography. This lovely Alcantara headlining, the lovely leather too. It's just an absolute bargain. It's got the deployable tow bar, deploy that from the switches at the back. And there's all sorts of, you go onto the cameras here, it's an extra feature, climate eco data, cameras, go onto the cameras, and then you've got, you, you, can, you can set it, the, the tow bar one here, special views, tow bar, and then you can, you can set it for whatever you've got on the back, horse box, flipping, you, you can set all that, it doesn't interest me, I won't be towing anything. Special views, say junction view, reversing out, coming forward, and you can see what's coming when you just stick your nose out. Adaptive cruise control. I like cruise control, I don't particularly like Adaptive cruise control, obviously it's better, it costs more money, you set it like so, that's on 70, in the centre there, so you set it at 70, and then here you've got elongated and short, so if I click there, that's, that will control the distance between me and the vehicle in front, we'll, 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 just, we'll just get up further to, closer to this lorry. Right, then I'll put the cruise control on. I'll adjust that so that's the maximum distance. And here we go. It's now slowing us down because we're getting too close to the vehicle in front. Now I can alter that because if I click that and knock it down, the car's speeding up again and getting closer to the van. But what it does mean is that I can't actually pull out and overtake because if this car's coming behind, if I've got it like this, the car is set at 70. If, if I pull out like so, it only starts accelerating when you're clear, which leaves a bit of a lag. That's why I don't like it. Whereas if cruise was set at 70, I wouldn't need to do anything. I could just indicate and pull out and it wouldn't slow down and it wouldn't drop me into the path of a car that was doing 70 behind me. So you've just got to be aware of that, but it's, you know, it's, it's no, no biggie, it's no big deal. Menu there, driving features, so click across there, driving features, show warnings. I can't really see it with my polarised glasses on. Show warnings, forward alert, blind spot monitor. I forgot to show that. I could do with somebody coming up quick before I go off. Blind spot monitor reverse traffic detection so you're reversing out and it will uh, I'll just slow down here so somebody will come past us you're reversing out and it'll beep to say there's a car coming watch what you're doing blimey this guy must be doing like 40 mile an hour right they're going past there there you go blind spot warning forward alert blind spot monitor yes always have that reverse traffic detection Traffic sign recognition, it's telling me what the, well, it's telling me up here and it's telling me on the dash how fast I'm going to, you know, go. John and myself went to Scotland yesterday. Roads you don't know, it's just a flipping nightmare. You, there's cameras everywhere and one minute it's 20 miles an hour and 30 and, you know, and also you're trying to find an address. So you're, you're looking for road signs and, and, and then, you, you know, you speed as well, whereas just at a quick glance this tells you straight away lane departure warning stupid that's off um high beam assist gearbox paddles well it's just well i think we'll go on to the next one i'm enjoying it on the motorway it's 
So here we go. Menu again. Trip computer, instrument display, head up display. So we'll click on head up display. Head up enable. Why you'd want it knocked off, I don't know, but head up options, cruise control, navigation, traffic sign recognition, gear state. It's got heated and cooled seats. I switched the cool seats on. I started video and it was cold and I had my jacket on and now it's red hot. So the seats again, click on there. The seats there, I can put on cool seats or I can heat them. If I can, if I click it the other way, I can, I can click uh, heated seats and they are really, really warm. I'm just going to switch massage seats on again because they've gone off. So there we go. Click seat, seat zone. Oh, there you go. So that's, you can have cool just on your back, cool just on your bottom or cool on both. Why you wouldn't want both, I, I don't know. Go on to massage. There you go. And, and, and I've got that. That's on full, full blast, up and down my back. And it is bliss. Your heated steering wheel there. You know, oh, that's very kind of. He must have got in the wrong car. Oh no, it's a young lady. Uh, she actually slowed down to let me out there, which was very, very kind of her. She had no need at all. So. Here we go, just up to 70. You don't know you're moving. And I love it, best car in the world. You got your little button there for... Great little button there for lowering the suspension when you get out, uh, access height. There's no noises in the vehicle, it's quiet, it's really, really lovely. I'm going to put that back. The piano black insets on the door handles, the gear tunnel. You've got this aluminium that looks like proper aluminium aluminium gear paddles, aluminium sides here, just very very well made. One thing that nobody else, BMs, Mercs, Audis, nobody else seems to get it right like Jaguar Land Rover do. Just your class. We'll just fly around here. Look. We'll give it some stick going up the slip road. But the thing is, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm having a back massage at the same time as I'm driving. And it just chills you. Just completely chills you. I wasn't sure what he was going to do then, otherwise I'd have filtered over. Listen to this. Now just to demonstrate how nice and how good this vehicle is. John doesn't care what he drives around in at all. I like Range Rovers. John, if he's got fuel in, he goes home in the biggest pile of shit sometimes that we've got on the forecourt. He only lives a mile up the road. When he brought this back, he was beaming. It's my new smoker. It's got massage seats in. He knows very well that I always claim vehicles with massage seats in because he never uses them. He doesn't like being poked in the back when he's driving. <laughs> he's, like, he's like a Philistine. This, this car's wasted on him. So whereas I would normally say, you know, 
I'm using this car, don't come and buy it. <laughs> I'm not using this car, so you come and buy it. It's, it's, it's the best car we've got on the pitch. That will serve him right for not letting me use it. And bags that in it first. Oh God, it's so good. This, this, I mean, this is a keeper. It really is a keeper. This would have, it's a hundred thousand pound car. And it still drives like a hundred thousand pound car and it still looks like one. So we've gone through anyway, we've gone through keyless start, keyless entry, high pressure headlamp wash on the dash. If you click the end in there, it changes your, that's telling you your trip computer, average miles per hour, average fuel. Now that's saying 27.1, 27.1, it's been ticking over while I've been videoing the vehicle and it's still showing 27.1. I mean, I'd be over the moon with that, to be fair, out of this vehicle. They're, they're, they're absolutely massive. You feel so safe in them. When it's raining, doesn't matter. It's, it's actually a shame it's so sunny today because you, you don't really get the impression of how commanding the, the vehicle is on the road and how much you can see over everybody else and how much everybody else is covered in spray. They're down here and they're covered in spray over the windscreen. And you're just above the spray, watching it all going on and seeing what's happening ahead of them. Look at this, it's just, you just chuck it round. Just a, a joy to drive. It's as near to self-driving as you can possibly get without paying an arm and a leg for it and having something that, which is virtually stupid. A 50 mile an hour limit here and it's showing in the heads up display, 44 mile. What I, what I was trying to show you before, it, it's, I, I've tried videoing it, but because the light or the, the, the projection oscillates at a different frequency to my camera, it, hard, it hardly shows it, it doesn't show the whole amount. And I've tried different shutter speeds and all sorts, but um, basically I'm, I was running out of time, so I, I couldn't devote any more to it. But heads up display, blind spot indicator warning, massage seat, all absolute necessities in a vehicle. Oh, Meridian speakers as well. Um, hey Siri, play Dire Straits Money for Nothing. Here's Money for Nothing by Dire Straits. Now listen this. The, the subwoofer is thumping in the car. I can hardly see it because of my Polaroids, but we'll click that on. And then you've got 3D surround, on off, Meridian, Dolby, that's ProLogic and uh, Dolby DTS, your tone, bass, treble, subwoofer, then you can go to balance and fade and set the music where you want it centered, which would be right around the driver's seat with me driving. You've got here your armrests, if you can see it's a bit too narrow for me. You can set your armrest there, or you can have this big armrest here and this other flat door card. And honest, honestly, they, I'm sure these are different head restraints because they are, they, they're like a pillow. So again, as I was saying before, if you've got the sat nav set, it shows you the directions in front, right in the screen. And again, even with sat nav yesterday, I managed to go wrong. We were coming off the road, it was pointing straight ahead. Sorry, it was saying keep left. We come off the junction, it's saying keep left. And there was a van right behind me and I thought we had to turn right and it's keep left and it was showing keep left and all, all of a sudden it went, you know, on the screen down here, <laughs> move to the right or turn right. I couldn't do it because there's a bloody van right behind me and if I had a done, it was just a little bit too late. 
and uh, you know, I, when I was going along the road, I was going along this slip road, and I keep looking at the the screen there and getting closer and closer. It, it's just something that, when you've got it in the screen, it just takes that one less thing to go wrong away, one less thing to destroy your concentration, just for the just for a second that you need to catch a blooming cyclist or a. A, you know, a motorbike or just do something wrong. It should be standard. It should be standard in everything. Get rid of electric handbrakes, lane departure warning system. Get rid of all that lot and give us something that, you know, is usable, decent, a good idea. Not inventing stuff for invention's sake. Anyway, we're nearly back at the garage. Don't forget, come and buy this, because that would be funny. Not that, not that John would be bothered, to be honest. <laughs> but there you go. So here we are, back at the garage. We've got loads and loads of really, really nice cars. Jags, Range Rovers. We've even got a couple of Nissans. There's, uh, you see there, Black Range Rover Sport, Black Range Rover Vogue SC. Up the other end, we've got a lovely blue Evoque that we just picked up from a, a really nice couple in Scotland. That's what we were doing yesterday. We picked two cars up yesterday. And uh, there we go. There's all the other stuff. Freelanders, Range Rover Sports, another Range Rover Sport. A blue evoke that with with like ivory and blue leather upholstery. So there you go. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Ta da.